<laughs> Best thing for navigating the nether. Hey guys, this is the Dark Preacher, and welcome back to the quest for Sanctuary. So I've done some work off camera, um, mostly mining. Um, I did find a zombie spawner, which is over that away. Which is really good because I've added cyberware and wired to my copy of the pack. Um, let's see here. I have a trash can. I still have my crafting station, my furnace. Uh, I made an armor forge from Armor Plus because while I was mining, I kept finding. Oops, there we go. Kept finding lava crystals. As you can see, I've done a lot of stuff. <laughs> Let's head down one level. Down to my machine room. So, I have the Atomic Reconstructor from Actually Editions. Hooked up to an energy laser relay, also from AA. And over here, I have a canola press, a fermenting barrel, and an oil generator. The reason why I have laser energy, real, you know what, lasers on this is because this is providing power to this, this is providing power to that, and that's providing power to this one over here, which is providing power to my crusher, and my powered furnace. The powered furnace is awesome, by the way. Uh, it actually splits items between these and cooks two things at once. It's pretty cool. But... Let's see. Yeah, that's full of canola oil. That's full of canola. That's full of oil and canola oil. This is not quite full of power. And I think it's because uh, the network for this, that's full of power. If you can look in the left lower left hand corner of the screen there's the power bar for it it doesn't have an actual right click interface um, let's see here. that's full that's full this isn't quite completely full but I think that's just simply because this thing has a little bit of loss transmitting power over the network but it's fine uh, the way you link these together is with a laser wrench yeah, laser wrench. Uh, recipe for that is two Inori crystals and an advanced coil. So that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, right now I am rocking some nice leather armor, but we are about to go into the nether. And so what I want to do first is do this and this and get me a nice new bow. And get my food here. I've got some spare food there. Um, I've actually expanded the cow farm a little bit. I got more cows. Got me a whole herd of Herefords. Uh, my garden up front is growing really nicely. Got me a nice little grass path. And I found that node over there for Silence Gems. And the great thing about that is, is it will attack hostile mobs, which is really good because there's a dark spot right there because of that. And it's getting dark. Let's see here. We have a field full of canola and these itty bitty worms. And the worms grow the canola really quickly, which is totally awesome. So. We got that, 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 that. The great thing about canola is you cannot eat it. So no matter how hungry I am, I'm not going to end up losing canola. The coffee beans, on the other hand, those you can eat, oddly enough. And like I said last episode, I was going to put a sound muffler in with the cows, and I did. 
And all that is, the recipe for that is now, is just a note block and one piece of wool. Whole heck of a lot cheaper. So, let us head back inside. Close the gate. Get some sleep real quick. I'm sleep at night. I need to get into the configs and change a few things in the configs. Come on now. Come on now. Is that sundown yet? There we go. Need to change a few things in the configs so that way with Quark, if you right click on a pork bed during the daytime, your spawn point gets set. That way, if I need to, I can move the bed. Alright, let's get that in there. Get that in there. And if you hear a bunch of little noises in the background, that's my cat. Otherwise known as Derpus Maximus. Because he is a derpy little cat. My little April Fool, because she was born April 1st, so. Okay, and then we can put that away, grab a stack of cobble, because we're going to need it. Put that away, put those away, that up, that can go. I'm going to need some more flint. There we go, stack of gravel. I'm getting half a stack of flint. There we go. I have flint for repairing tools, or at least my pickaxe, which I used a gem to actually repair that once. Uh, the annoying crystals can go in there. The rib bone and the actual bones can go in there. I have a flint and steel. Put those away. All right now. In the armor forge, you take your lava crystals, the chest plate, get some pants, get some boots, get a helmet. Now, what can you use these for? Uh, enchanting, that's about it. That's okay. Because we get plus two armor toughness, plus six armor. Resistance 1 and Fire Resistance. Let's see if that all stacks. I don't know if it stacks, but it works. And then, we go down. Uh, let's go down all the way to here. Yeah, that'll work. Down to here, and we'll go over into here. Because I don't want that noisy portal just sitting around making noise when I don't need it to, you know? That, 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 that. We got the ceiling some, so it's not so claustrophobic. But I saw some iron, I guess I was wrong. Uh, I'm going to have to go get some torches here in a bit, but two, three, one, two, we're just doing the cheapest, most basic nether portal you can make. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. And if you can't tell, we're not that far from what looks to be a ravine that I have yet to light up. And there's a lot of mobs in there. <laughs> but, let us click, light that up. And then we head back up. Get some torches made. Oh, hey. I have four and a half shirts of armor toughness. That's really cool. Okay, now let's see here. I need not that much. There we go. 
We've also got some uh, cyborg stuff. <laughs> We're going to be working on that in a later episode. Uh, let's see here. I need... Ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Put those there, put those there, leave that there. Ta da! Stack of torches. That, that can go there. That, 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 that can go there, that can go there. Put that, that, put that, that. I don't think I'm gonna need any more obsidian. Uh, lava crystals. What else can I use these for? I can use them to upgrade the armor forge. Lava arrows, lava sword, hmm. lava battle axe, lava bow. That's not going to be helpful in another. Oh! I can make steel with uh, lava crystal, charcoal, and iron. Cool. And then in the armor forge, we've just got the normal armor. And then, Gift of the Gods. Which takes one level crystal, four obsidian, and four nether stars. Holy cow. Alright, well, we're going to just save those. We're just going to save those. And then, the reason why we're going into the nether is because I need a bunch of glowstone and other things quartz and stuff all right now two there one there all right here we go please don't crash please don't crash please don't please don't please don't crash and loading terrain do, 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 Ooh. Magma blocks. Oh. That's not good. <laughs> I'm on a peninsula in a island of uh, a sea of lava. That's not fun. Two. Got to protect the portal. Portal goes out, you are stuck. Okay, that, that, that. We'll bring this. Two more. Gas is blasting that thing. Okay. There's some glowstone, hard to get to, because it's directly over a lava thing. Actually, if this fire resist, I wonder. Can I? Yes, I can. I can walk on this stuff. Awesome. Best thing for navigating the nether. Did I take it? No. I haven't taken any damage on it yet. That's awesome. Alright. Hey, look at that. Golden barrel. That's awesome. Uh, another zinc. Another lead. I'm going to gather up some of this stuff because I haven't been able to find it in the overworld. Then I get to figure out how I can use it. Just a little bit here and there. But, oh wait, I forgot to mark my portal. I forgot to mark the portal on the map. Because I am a dirt. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hmm, what? I'm sorry, were you saying something? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. That's fine. You. Excuse you. Excuse you, sir. Oh, I'm out. Here, come here. No, no. Come here. There you go. <laughs> it's slow going, but I can do it. Pop a crystal armor. OP, just be OP. <laughs> be part of the reason why I didn't want to go get that glowstone right there, because it's over lava, is because most of it will end up landing in lava. So, exit. Save. There we go. Well, I'm going to explore the nether. Oh, look. Spinel. And yeah, I know there's some YouTubers out there that might sit there and call it Spinel. No, it's Spinel. <laughs> but I'm going to explore the nether a little bit, gather up some stuff, and if I find anything interesting, I will bring you guys back for that. So I will see you in a little bit. Ooh, info board. Lots of it. Alright guys, I'm back, and it seems that I have found a gigantic fortress. I just need to figure out a way to get up there. So... I need, to, I, need, I need to see exactly how big this thing is, so I need to get up higher. Mm. And somehow get over to it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're gonna just... Oh, look at there. Another diamond door. Well, that's helpful. And here's some more. Why ain't that nice? I've, I've also figured out that uh, <laughs> with armor toughness and resistance, I'm now actually tougher than a pigman. I'm also so tough that pigman can't really hurt me anymore. Although it does take quite a bit of the durability off my armor every time one of them hits me. Doo -doo -doo. Just gathering up some stuff here. Oh no, I'm out of room. Oh, I don't need a mushroom. Oh look, look. It's a wraith. <laughs> what? Oh. What? What? Okay. What are these used for? They're used for nothing. That was weird. I hit those things and they sounded like a cat and a sheep. That was weird. Alright, let's head over here. Get inside this thing somehow. Is this a room? This is a room. Oof. Yeah, made that long freaking fall. One heart. <laughs> okay, cool. There we go. Nice and marked up. Ooh. I don't know what that is, but I'll take it. I don't need that. Uh, I will take the enderic processors because it's a pain in the butt to make them otherwise. And... I still need to get more stuff. But I'm all out of room. Well, you know what? That bow, I gotta make a new one. I'll just have that as a empty spare slot. Uh, no, no, nothing that way. Need that. Thank you. I will put the torch there, though. But yeah, I'm I'm going to explore this, and uh, I'll see you guys. 
Alright guys, we're back, and you might be wondering why am I coming from the zombie spawner? Well, I had a small crash coming out of the nether. Um, log back in, and I'm like, oh, I don't know, about 400 blocks away from here. <laughs> in solid stone. <laughs> At Y level 33. So yeah, that's a thing that happened. Uh... I get the feeling I'm going to need a bigger box. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going to need some bigger chests. That's something we can work on. Um, for right now, let us go down here. Whoop, and toss that, 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 that in there. Yeah, see? It's processing two different things. So I'm getting emerald ore and diamond ore. <laughs> Which is really awesome. Um, usage. I can make a void ore miner controller. Tier 1. Which is pretty cool. Uh, I can smelt it for one diamond. Put it through the extra utilities to crusher. I can put it through the regular crusher for crushed diamond, which then I can smelt for diamonds. Which is fairly awesome. Uh, yeah. So, I can go mine the nether and get double of everything and then double it in here. That's awesome. Okay, so. Uh, that's doing fine, that's doing fine, that's doing fine. My cat thinks he needs to bite my elbow. <sighs> yep, just another normal day. <laughs> that armor. Oh my lord, this armor. It works so well. Um, I don't know what's going on there. Um, leave bed, leave bed. Well, it looks as though I need to um, log and relog real quick. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, <laughs> managed to finally get out of bed. Um, I checked the time, and I've actually been chatting and doing things for the length of an episode. So, ooh, yeah. Um, let's put that there, and switch that back. There we go. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on my storage system off-camera. I'm also going to work on trying to automate the uh, farm out there. I think I have an idea, which might involve reliquary. I'm not sure. Um, I'm also going to automate my zombie spawner a little bit, but it's just, it, I'm going to add a hopper and a chest, essentially. Um, yeah. So, that's going to do it for me. As always, I'm the Dark Preacher. This is the quest for Sanctuary. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.